Flooding like this is a common sight around the tri-state area in the aftermath of Hurricane Irene. In northern New Jersey, many roads are closed and down trees cut power lines. Little Ferry is on the banks of the Hackensack River. Flooding has been the main issue on roads and homes of the 11,000 residents in the town. Basically got about a foot and a half of water. The streets are all flooded, can't get in or out. Little Ferry Mayor Mauro Ragusio says if not for the emergency services preparation, things would have been a lot worse. Uh, we had emergency shelters open. We gave out sandbags yesterday, a couple of thousand sandbags. And uh, um, we had our police department, our fire department, DPW, uh, all the volunteers mobilized. They were up all through the night. They've been coming through the blocks and taking care of people. So I, th I think they they were prepared and, and they, I think they did a great job. Police Chief Ralph Verdi says about one-third of the town's residents are still without power, but that police are working with residents to help them in any way they can. While towns further north and east like Fort Lee, Demarest, and Closter have experienced little effects from the storm, Little Ferry's neighboring towns, including Teterboro, Moonaki, South Hackensack, and as far north as Englewood and Tenafly are facing similar problems. But Mayor Mauro Ragusio says the storm could have hit a lot harder. Had the winds uh, swept through the town as they were predicting at 100 miles per hour, uh, this could have been uh, a disaster. FEMA is on their way to help towns like Little Ferry. We've been in contact with FEMA and they will uh, soon come into the area to the county. And while many were dealing with flooded homes, others found ways to have fun in the wet weather including this group of teenage lifeguards who helped cars that got stuck around the little ferry traffic circle and also found time to swim there. We were walking on the curb and she lost her balance and decided to grab me and pull me in. So then we said it was too late, so we just went back to get them and come back and go swimming. Mayor Mauro Ragusia says Little Ferry will be back open Monday, but he expects it to be midweek before everything is back to normal. As the water totally escapes Little Ferry, we will, uh, we will go back and, and pump any basements that need to be pumped. There are still about 250,000 New Jersey residents without power throughout the state. In northern New Jersey, Michael Artsis, NYPost.com.